great Indian philosopher and spiritual teacher, Nisargadatta Maharaj, once said, Only he who is ready to question, to think for himself, will find the truth. The system is overwhelmed and is not coming to save us. We need to save ourselves by thinking for ourselves. Thinking for ourselves and searching for the truth in terms of health, longevity, financial security, relationships, world events and spirituality. These series of videos will show that not only is the concept that nature does it best, the truth, but that the scientific evidence already exists that this is the case. I will start off by discussing the latest research on cancer. It was reported in April 2012 that a clinical trial on the effects of sodium bicarbonate against breast cancer in humans is to be started at the University of Arizona Cancer Center. The research has stated that cancer grows in an acidic environment and the acid helps the cancer to metastasize or spread. Previous research has shown that oral bicarbonate increases tumor pH and reduces breast and prostate cancer metastases. Another study showed that sodium bicarbonate administered to mice with breast cancer enhanced survival. Other studies out this week have shown that allicin from garlic causes cells from glioblastomas to commit suicide. Glioblastoma is an aggressive brain cancer. The researchers concluded that, quote, these results suggest that allicin can serve as a novel chemotherapeutic candidate for the treatment of glioblastoma multiforme, unquote. The evidence for curcumin to cause autophagy of cancer cells is also mounting. Curcumin is the active component of the Indian spice turmeric. Autophagy describes the process where the cancer is destroyed by feeding on itself. Researchers concluded that curcumin may potentially contribute to oral cancer treatment. Reishi mushroom is the most scientifically researched herb of all time and is one of the great Chinese medicinal mushrooms. Recent research has shown that ethanol extracts of reishi mushroom markedly inhibited the invasiveness of human stomach cancer cells. I have a large number of aloe vera plants growing at my permaculture farm in the Gold Coast hinterland. Aloe is a member of the lily family and is one of the most nutritious vegetables on the planet. A recent review states that, quote, research over the past couple of decades has begun to reveal the extent of aloe's pharmaceutical potential, particularly for preventing and treating cancer, unquote. Aloe has also recently been shown to have a role in the prevention and repair of damage to the liver from alcohol, as well as the treatment of periodontal disease. Periodontal disease, or infections of the gum, is well known as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease, broadening the preventative role of aloe vera to both cancer and heart disease. Magnesium has long been known to have a role in cardiovascular disease as well, including its intravenous use for arrhythmias. Now there is new research showing that oral magnesium supplementation resulted in a significant reduction in seizures in patients with epilepsy who were having drug-resistant seizures. Another mineral in the news has been zinc. I have produced several videos on the importance of zinc supplementation because of loss of zinc from soil. New evidence shows that zinc deficiency in girls aged 10 to 16 causes poor cognitive performance. And finally, I'd like to quote well-known investor Jim Rogers in terms of financial security. Nearly two years ago, I decided to leave the city and start producing my own organic and biodynamic food on my small permaculture farm. This was primarily for my health and my small contribution to the environment. But Rogers has another perspective. Quote, Agriculture is going to be the big thing in the next 20 years. The best thing you can do is to become a farmer. That is where the money is going to be made. It has been a disaster for the last 20 years, but farmers are going to be driving the Lamborghini in the next 20 years. Stockbrokers are going to be driving taxis. The smart ones will learn how to drive tractors so they can work for the smart farmers. Anything to do with agriculture, seeds, tractors, fertilizer, water, is going to be extremely profitable over the next 20 years.